Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is part of the Creators Helping Creator series that I'm making. And this one here, I'm gonna tell you up front, even though I'm talking about monetization stuff and a YouTube partner program, this is before you even get involved in a YouTube partner program. It's good to know this kind of stuff before you get there, so you don't do anything to your channel that might hurt you in some way. Don't delete any videos, okay? All the videos you have and all those numbers that you have, those are important to get to 4K, 1K. Don't get rid of anything. Keep all your videos, you've already made them, leave them alone. Don't delete any videos from your channel as you're getting to the 4K, 1K, all right? Get to the 4K, 1K, sign up for the YouTube Partner Program, get evaluated, get into the program, and then very cautiously make sure that you uh, still don't delete any of your videos, all right? I, I really don't care how good, bad, or indifferent your videos are. I'm telling you from personal experience and witnessing other people hurt themselves, do not delete any of your videos. That's what got you to 4K, 1K, Keep your videos, all right? Keep those numbers. Um, they're important going down the road. If like 10 years from now you wanna delete some of the really old ones, that's up to you. But for now, getting there, until you get to 5,000, 7,000, 10,000 uh, subscribers, don't delete any videos from your channel. They're all important numbers. And you also have the exponential potential of people making comments below your videos and stuff like that. Don't be pruning your channel, all right? So let's jump into it. <clears throat> I'm at YouTube, I'm in Creator Studio up here, and next there's a YouTube Studio Beta, which is gonna replace Creator Studio at some point, so I may have to remake this video. I'm in the Channel section and under Monetization. Over here in the center, my center section may not look like yours, that's okay, because we're going over here to the right where it says Guidelines and Information. Previously, I looked at this first one where it says, how can my videos make money? Here, we're gonna look at which videos may not be eligible for monetization, as well as some that may be eligible. There's a lot of reading here. Go ahead and do that reading, all right? Be familiar with all this stuff, all right? So let's go into one thing I wanna uh, touch on right away is an example of video that could be eligible. Now, just because something could be eligible doesn't mean it will be monetized or maintain monetization even after you monetize it. Let's talk about that and let's jump into some examples. Let's say you filmed your cat and there's no background music. That may or may not be monetizable. Let's talk about ones that are, all right? Even if these people are not members of the YouTube Partner Program and they don't have a monetize or anything, let's go look at these anyway. Jennifer Morales. Jennifer Morales is her name. Feline Films is her game. It says it like it is. Her name and what she does. A perfect name for a channel. If you can get away with that, absolutely positively take advantage of that. You want That's your branding. You want people to know who you are, what you're doing, and what's going on. Uh, if you change the name of your channel, make sure that it fits within the branding that you want to do for future growth. All right, Keep the future. Five years, a long-term uh, viewability. Keep that five-year goal, uh, even if you don't know what it is yet. One year, three years, five years. Get that idea going and try to name your channel and get it locked in to whatever it is. You can change the name of your channel and it shouldn't hurt anything. But uh, let me double check on that or you do your own due diligence and make sure that that's true. But it shouldn't have any effect on your views and all that kind of statistics. All these cats up here, these five cats, are ones that she has rescued. All of Jennifer's cats are rescued cats. Annie over here, the kitten, is the newest one, and you should go through her videos and check her out. This is her home page, and I'm gonna use this video, even though I'm talking about monetization, I also wanna to touch on additional things, get more bang for our buck in uh, Creators Helping Creators. Um, you're gonna see the perfect example of things in these uh, shout outs I'm giving. Jennifer Morales has her home page set up this way. She designed this page to look this way, all right? She made certain selections and everything else to edit this thing to look like this. She made her own custom banner and everything else, Things are great. This is a great looking channel. It is what it is. She is who she is, and this is what, he, what she does. Excellent videos, check them out, all right? Uh, also, check out Annie's story too. But all her cats are wonderful, but the Annie story is the most recent storyline kind of thing, and all her other cats are making starring roles as well, all right? So check her out, um, show some love. Let's look at Cookie the Cat. Cookie the Cat here, this is Cookie's homepage, all right? Now it's Cookie with the funny mouth, you know, hanging open kind of thing, image up here. <clears throat> There's a, a bunch of cats out there named Cookie the Cat. I searched for Cookie the Cat up there, and that's how I found, uh, even though I, I know they're, you know, we're subscribed to each other and everything else, I would like to see Cookie the Cat definitely soar past the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm going to put this uh, channel up on Twitter again, make some comments about it and everything else, and let's see if we can help somebody out, right? You're going to fall in love with Cookie the Cat just like I have, and this is Cookie's homepage, all right? Again, getting more bang for our book, creators, helping creators, showing an example of what a homepage might look like. This would give you, it gave me the false impression that they only have five videos. Cookie the Cat's a superstar. Let's go look at all of Cookie's videos. There they are. And there's more. All right. 
So more of them will load up and everything else. Cookie the Cat's a wonderful cat, makes wonderful videos. Uh, their owner makes wonderful videos of Cookie. And if you look at the times, this shows the run times here, they're all short. Cookie makes short videos. She, you know, Cookie doesn't like to waste any time. Cookie likes to get to the, get to the, you know, bang for the buck, get the, get the story out and move along, right? So go ahead and show so Cookie the Cat some love and let's help get Cookie over a thousand subscribers, all right? And with these short videos, it's gonna take a while to get to the 4,000 watch hours. Cookie may already have them, I don't know. But let's go uh, show some Cookie some love here. And uh, who doesn't love cookies, right? So just check out Cookie the Cat, show some love, and um, let's, uh, creators helping creators. Alvy the Cat, Alvy the Cat, uh, Alvy Cat Channel, Alvy Cat Channel. Alvy is a rescued cat. Alvy's uh, rescue center is in one of the videos, all right? This is Alvy Cat's home ch uh, homepage, which looks like Jennifer Morales' homepage, right? Same kind of setup like that. This is something that we do for our channel. We set up this, we edit this page to look how we want it, all right? Let's go back to Jennifer for a second and scroll down on her page. She, you can show more videos, and what it's gonna do is gonna show more of the same kind of videos. Oh, this is a hilarious video. Kitten Maestro, check that out, hilarious video. Anyways, let's go over here again to Alvy Cat Channel, right? Alvy Cat Channel has created playlists and uploads show up here, all right? And then up above, they have popular uploads. All right, so this is Alvy Cat Channel. Set this up. They're owners, and they're just over a thousand subscribers. I'd like to see uh, Alvy Cat, a wonderful orange cat, get a whole lot more subscribers because these are really great videos. I think you're gonna like that. I just inadvertently clicked on the wrong video. I'm gonna bounce back out of that real quick. I normally play the video, but that's not what this uh, this video is all about. I want to talk about this video right here. This video again, creators helping creators, right? And, and I want to get multiple uses out of the same video here. This one here is going to talk about how we ask people to subscribe. This is a wonderful video right here. I'm going to put this on Twitter as well. Alvy Cat Subliminal Messaging. Check this out. This is a minute and 34 seconds. Watch this video. It'll give you some ideas on some creative ways to ask people to subscribe to your channel, help show you some love, shall help show you some support. And by all means, go check out Alvy Cat channel and spread some love. All right. Let's go talk about a puppy dog. Let's go look at I Am Leo. What are you talking about, Ray? I Am Leo has nothing on their homepage. No, they don't, but they do have a, a couple of videos, all right? So let's click on videos. <clears throat> You're gonna fall in love with this dog the same as I have. This dog has 11,062 subscribers listed so far. And let's talk about this first video right here with the uh, little mini schnauzer. This was a stray dog. The uh, creator of this channel um, brought this dog in, got, him all pretty, got her all prettied up, and found this puppy dog a forever home. Uh, they have uh, Ricky and Leo over here. The cat, this cat is Ricky. This is a, a, a former cat that they had who had passed away. And this is a tribute to that cat. This is the one that really made me fall in love with that channel instantly. But Leo really will win your heart. Um, uh, Ricky is an adorable cat. And in this video here, it is a misnomer. I'm, I'm not going to give you a spoiler, but it says unhappy dog. I don't believe it. I think, I think that uh, Leo absolutely positively loves what's going on in this video. I'm not going to ruin for it because I'm going to put this on Twitter. Watch this video. It's only a minute and 35 seconds long. As a matter of fact, other than this 21 minute video, which I think that everybody should watch anyway, um, all these videos are pretty short, all right? So uh, show I Am Leo, that's the name of the channel, I Am Leo, show Leo some love, and uh, let's get some more watch time for I Am Leo, all right? Um, absolutely, you're gonna, you're, you're, you don't even have to be a dog person. You watch this video right here, you're gonna love Leo forever, all right? Now, what I wanna do is go back to YouTube thing and talk about things which are not eligible. These are examples of things which may not be eligible. Um, read this on your own. I just wanna show you where it is. Halfway down, they have the bold area, examples of videos that are not eligible. I'm gonna tell you about some horror stories that happened instead. <clears throat> this happens all the time and it's upsetting to me and, it, and you'll, you probably pick up on it too, even if subliminally. You're watching a video, it's a great video, you're loving the video, somebody's playing the uh, radio in the background. If you're playing a radio in the background and it's got WABC or whatever, you know, CBS, Z -Z ZXY, whatever, you got some radio station on your background and it's playing your favorite music, that's a problem, okay? The problem is that's copyrighted music. We don't own the rights for it. We can't rebroadcast it in something that's making money for us without giving somebody else a, a cut of the pie or buying the right to use that, that uh, audio. So let me go back to the things that are it contains royalty-free music, and you can prove that it's royalty-free. This is where you want to get into the YouTube music, which is not very user-friendly to find something you want, uh, but once you get into a stream of finding three or four tunes that you can use over and over again, by all means, do it. Uh, I go to the YouTube 
royalty-free music that does not require attributes. All right, that's an important thing. I'll make a video about that later. I actually will. It'll be in the Creators Helping Creators thing, me trying to find some music to throw into a video. All right. So, uh, but I use royalty free music or none at all. You won't find a whole lot of the music or anything else in my videos. And the reason why is I don't want to go through the hassle, strain, aggravation, frustration, and irritation of trying to get a copyright, uh, uh, a permission to use whatever it is I need to use to get my video done. Let's go into things that may not be eligible again. And um, you're singing words of your favorite copyrighted song, and there's copyrighted audio in the background. Um, you can sing your favorite song. If you can go a cappella with no music whatsoever and sing your song, that's a cover. You can do it on your own. If you got your own band and you're paying them to play and you own the rights to whatever they're playing and they're playing something that's a little off key and you're still banging out the perfect version of your favorite song, that's okay. That, that works. But if you have other things, and let me go back to that music again, and you got copyrighted audio in the background, such as instrumentals or karaoke tracks, you might get a dinger. Now, here's the thing. If it's not a monetized video, I don't know if they're going to give it a dinger or not or anything else. You're not making any money on it. It's playing in the background kind of thing. You, This is specifically for monetization, all right? If it's not monetized, I don't think you're necessarily going to have an issue with it. So you have to really look into that, check things out, make sure you you know cross all the T's and dot all the I's and make sure you got yourself covered. If you're monetizing the video, all right, you cannot use that stuff. You're going to probably get a dinger from it. And, and their artificial intelligence scans the digital track of the uh, videos that we upload. So they're actually... Searching, they're doing this top spy stuff, this dark, you know, spy versus spy. They're using this technology on all of our videos that are being uploaded. And they say 4,000 hours of video is uploaded every minute on YouTube. Those supercomputers are going crazy trying to find ways to ding us. But I'll tell you what, it might not be something so obvious. Here's the story that I recall that really drives me nuts. Somebody's making a video. It's a great video. I'm talking award-winning stuff here. They're in one room of their house and they're making this award-winning video. And unfortunately, in the background of their video, their kids are playing in the next room. The kids have the TV on. The TV, you can't even hear it. You can see it. You can hear that something's on in the TV in the background, but the kids are playing. You see them playing in the background and everything. Other than that, it's award-winning video stuff. That person got a dinger. They got a strike on them for a copyright infringement because on that television was a cartoon. It's a children's cartoon. It's playing in the background. They're getting a dinger because they got that cartoon playing in the background and they didn't even realize that it was in the shot. All right. Maybe their monitor that they were looking at was small. They couldn't tell what it was. It didn't, didn't really worry about it or whatever. That's why when you see a computer screen on TV, that's a fake image on the computer screen. When you see a TV in the background, they either own the rights or they paid for them, all right? So you gotta, you gotta be aware of that stuff. Be aware of what's in the background of your video and be aware of what the sounds are in your audio. When you're, when you're shooting a video out there, you gotta make sure that somebody's car, you know, window isn't open next to you and they're playing, you know, I don't know, some famous person's, you know, favorite tunes or whatever, you know, whatever. you gotta be aware of that stuff. You gotta listen to your audio while you're watching your video and reviewing that stuff before you hit that monetization button. And all of that is no guarantee that you're going to be monetized or that they won't snatch monetization away. Let's go look at another screen here real quick and wrap this up. This is one of my videos. It's collection day bringing debris to the fire pit up here. Um, it was. That's all I was doing. Now, what they say down here is limited or no ads uh, to content. It's not suitable for most advertisers. That's, that's incorrect. That's wrong. I can think of two, well, maybe most, but two advertisers that would have loved it. In this video, I'm driving a Toro lawnmower and I'm dragging a polar cart behind me with the debris in it. And um, both of these companies would love to have that uh, monetized, I would think. And But here's what YouTube says. Uh, I did request a review. I said, no, that's, that's nonsense. It's absolutely positively a perfectly good video to be monetized. But they say right now we're only able to review videos with at least a thousand views in the past seven days. So I could have 10 million views on this thing. If I didn't get 1,000 of them within a seven-day period, YouTube is telling me they're not even going to look at it. Okay, yeah, we're, we appreciate that you got a review requested. We're not even going to look at it until you get 1,000 views in the next seven days or in, in, in seven-day period of time. So I need 1,000 views within seven days, and then YouTube will look at this and review it. Now, I got to mention this because it's important. Previously, when I was 
previously monetized with YouTube and they would give me the little yellow circle up here of defeat, I would say, no, go ahead and review it. And usually within 24 hours, it would be re-monetized. So a lot of my old videos that are monetized, some of them were not monetized because I got the yellow circle of, uh, no, we're not going to advertise or allow that on there, but they did, you know, so they did review them. But now because they've created the monster that they've become, now they got to wait for a thousand views within the last seven days before they go ahead and look at it. And they say, when it hits that threshold, then we'll take a look at it. It's like, right now, forget about you. We don't care. We demonetize your video and we don't care. That's pretty much what they said. Another reason why I have this big, huge distrust over YouTube and the things they do, which I think are absolutely stupid. Um, so anyways, I'm not too shy about that. That's going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you uh, hanging out to the end here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, make a comment below. Creators helping creators. Help other people out. Put your notes below. Oh, let me address that thing about deleting, uh, deleting your uh, content. We're talking about monetization here. Again, the whole thing's about monetization up here, all right? That's what it's all about. How do you make money? What can you monetize? What can't you monetize? And stuff like that, all right? Again, you see, like what I said up here, this is a perfectly good video for monetization. They demonetized it anyway, but you know, make sure you're not doing any copyright infringement. Make sure you don't, you don't have artifact, you know, music happens to sneak into your audio track. Uh, some cartoon isn't on the background of a TV or something like that. You're not watching TV in the background. Don't do it. Have the TV shut off. Have your computer screens closed. Don't be showing stuff on your video that you don't want in your video. It'll inadvertently try to sneak in anyway. Um, but don't delete your old videos like, oh, maybe YouTube doesn't like this or they don't like that. None of these are monetized anyway. Free speech, all that kind of stuff. They you know, pretty much promote that they want to do all that. So don't delete your videos because you need those statistics. Don't kill your stats, all right? Let that stuff ride. And after you get 25, you know, uh, 2,500 uh, supporters, 5,000, 10,000 supporters, or so subscribers is the real term. Until you get to those high numbers, don't think about cleaning up and pruning your videos. Later on, when you're absolutely positively rock solid into the program, I am far from there myself. Um, but don't prune out your old videos. Let them ride. Here's the other thing I say about the, leaving those videos there, getting more bang for the buck out of this video. Let your old videos sit there because they're probably not as good as your more recent videos. It's important for new people to be able to go look back and look at our old videos to see how horrible we were so they can see how good we got. Hopefully we're getting better, right? Okay, so keep on doing it. Keep on focusing on the positive. Keep on focusing on making better videos, better audios, cleaner, clearer, better, however it is you're gonna do it because we each have to learn this on our own because the only way to get this is by doing it. Video is one of those things that we have to do it to get better with it, all right? So keep going, keep on growing, all right? So with that, until I catch you in the next video, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, make the comments below. Creators helping creators. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.